Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you're well. My name is Average J and this is my review for Doofus Drop. This is a free to play game that is, it's very funny if you have a childish enough sense of humour, like me. So, <laughs> it's got these hand drawn visuals, what you see on the menu here is what the game looks like. Which is, I like it, it's good, it's you know, this, this hand drawn cartoony look to it. And I'll just, just show you an event straight away. It's You always start on a bike. Um, he's got a fork sticking out his head because that's the one of the, the hats that I unlocked for him. And uh, it's quite funny. So you just you start with a really manky bike with the wheels that aren't even round. And then you have to pedal him and throw him off. I've got a booster that will kick in. And you fall down the hill. But this, this is a good example right now. Because this is probably the worst part about the game. Is that where it's so random. You can just. I've got five cans of beans. And beans is what helps you to. Uh, to, to fart. <clears throat> the game's about farts essentially. A guy called Doofus. Who farts. It's like a special power. So the, the farts essentially launch him. So you get stuck like this and you can launch him off. Uh, it hasn't even counted that my run has even started properly because he's still on the bike. Normally you'd fall off and be tumbling down the hill. But you essentially just sort of drag your, your finger in a, in a line where you want him to fly. And that's it. That's the mechanic of the game. But you start with just like one can of beans and uh, you have to upgrade all the way. The full upgrade is five, which is what I've got. So you can imagine if you got stuck early on. I mean, it's just quite simple, quite easy to just, just get stuck. Not stuck, it's, you know, your run will end very prematurely. You will get more uh, beans as you go, you, as you collect stars and that. You, you'll, 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 get, you'll get more beans and you'll sort of refill them. But there's, uh, there's all sorts of obstacles that will get in your way and different things that you can do. It's funny, you can sort of upgrade how high he bounces, how high he flies, how slippery he is. Uh, but listening to him, he's, it's very funny. In a very childish way, like I say. But it is quite amusing. Um, he's got a real quirk, a real charm to it. But what I like is the fact that it's a free-to-play game, but for something like removing ads, I think it costs 82p or something. See, that is how in-app purchases are supposed to work, you know, keep things reasonable, especially for a little game like this. So yeah, you can get like skewered and stuff. You can boost yourself off that, which I just did, but I did it too late for it to register. You collect tickets as you go and it gives you a chance to spin and win. But what's funny is how this works. The, the skull kills you and everything else gives you, you know, certain things, whatever. But it's really funny with certain bits and pieces. It, it just... It just messed up and decided I died. Okay, well it's a good way to show you the rescue shark. So you can buy the rescue shark and you ride it down a hill. <laughs> so you get a few jumps with him. But there are things that you can get stuck on even with the rescue shark, which can get a little bit annoying. But it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's not like you're you're investing in some epic long gameplay thing. You, it doesn't limit how many times you can roll down the hill or anything. You just start again if you die. It's not no no real big issue. But more and more craziness starts to occur as you go on. And I I have to say I am a real fan of the game. I, I loved it so much when I first started playing it that I was just like, alright, I'm getting the missus to download this straight away. But she's not so much of a fan of it. She just, no, it's, you know, I guess she's not quite as childish as me. Don't tell her I said that. So, uh, you know, she's the immature one. <laughs> but, you know, as you can see, it can get pretty mental. You can just have insanely random things falling down a hill with you. There is uh, quite a few achievements, and some of them are pretty cool as well, because... It's like you can die getting skewered on spikes or a fork or something. So I will give you achievements on that, because it's funny. You can jump back on a bike as you go down and you you tilt your phone to keep it level. It only lasts for so long anyway. Again, it's something you can upgrade. 
it was an achievement for staying in a trolley for so many seconds on your way down the, down the hill. But yeah, you can have a run that can last, you know, when you've upgraded it enough, you can have a run that can last for ages. The fact that you can keep on getting more, you know, more more cans of beans, that just means that it can be, you know, unlimited, I guess. But it's just the way that it looks so unique, you know, and it's so simple, you know, the way that it plays, it functions so well, you know, as a mobile game. Um... The tickets thing that you get is it's not bad, but it can be slightly annoying because it can it you know if you if you roll if you spin the wheel and you get uh, like the skull you're you're dead, which means that you don't even get a chance to use the rescue shark like you would if you sort of just ended normally. But I suppose that's the whole thing, and it? it's uh, all about the gambling. But yeah, it's just like. Black, white, grey, and yellow. That's your lot. You can you can go to space. Yeah, uh, there's these. Um, there were, you, you've seen like various things that throw me up into the air, and you know some of those things can throw you up so high you end up in space. And there's these birds that is like they call them flatchy birds or something, and they're, they're like uh, like that. They're like flappy birds, so they, they you tap the screen and they they jump. And that's how I first got to space. There are those gas bag things that throw you a mile. You know, hit a plane because... Because <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, if you like the look of what you're seeing now and you think the endless fart noises and a weird little dude screaming as he rolls down the hill would amuse you, then yeah, definitely. But if you think this just looks, well, this is just plain childish. This isn't for me at all. Then it isn't for you at all. What can I say? This this amused me the first time I saw this because I was just like, oh wow, I've unlocked money. How's that work? That's how that works. You get a dollar sign that falls on you. It can knock you off spikes and stuff. That's it. Um, you can also uh, you can win if you can call it winning. You can win poo and it just literally drops a small poo on you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I say, very childish and um, very funny. You unlock uh, short films, these little shorts, uh, and they're, 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 they're kind of amusing in the same sort of way that the game is. Very, very funny, very crude. It reminded me of like, old Ren and Stimpy. I don't know how many people would know about old Ren and Stimpy, but I, I, uh, I grew up on that in my teenage years, and it really reminded me of that like, visually, because it's kind of, it's like cartoony, but it's also really disgusting. Which just adds to the repulsive charm. But no, I mean, if you if you if you're an achievement fan, then it's good that there's you know there's plenty of, of different things to keep coming back to keep trying. A lot of them are just easy ones, like uh, the first one you'll unlock is doing that, and dinner is served. That's it. You got you got an achievement. So no, I give the game 7.5 because I like it. I like its quirky charm. I like the that uh, it's, it doesn't try to, you know, say, right, we've got you hooked to this game now and now pay us a small fortune. It does that reasonable thing with the IAPs. Like, uh, you know, the 82p to remove ads. And I spent a little bit more on it as well because there's a double stars thing that you can buy. But it's weird, you can buy it and you don't actually need to put money in. It's not like a an in-app purchase. It was like so many hundreds of stars or whatever. So you can technically earn it in the game. But I was like, you know what, no, I just want to give myself that head start. So I'm going to buy enough stars to start with so that I can have that. So, you know, it gives me an edge, gives me a good platform to jump off. Because there's so many things that you can buy and upgrade that I thought it was worthwhile. Because you can upgrade and do all sorts. You say no and drop out, and it gives you the wah wah wah. You go my best distance. Oh, you can watch ads for for stars as well. So you know you get sixty stars if you watch a uh, watch an ad. But there's a cinema in there in this game, so you can either watch the game, <laughs> watch the ads in the cinema along with your shorts that you've unlocked. But we go to the store. 
And there you go. So the section is your power ups, uh, your headgear. So I've got a small toupee. This uh, I don't even know how to describe that. And then my folk. And yeah, there's a there's a few more to get. Uh, yeah, the different different wheels on the bike that you start on. Like I say, you start on the junkers with the junkers wheels, and you you're ha hacking away at the, the screen, tapping away like, "Come on, move!" And the thing really doesn't want to roll. Uh, but yeah, like boosters, I'm interested to get the jet engine and launchers. is the thing you hit to start. So in the beginning, like you you saw me on the bike, sort of it doesn't work properly because. I was still on the bike, so I hadn't started to tumble. Whereas the other things that you can have, you hit them and just fly off, like the tree stump when you start, or the trash can. You just fall down the hill with a load of rubbish. So yeah, so like, as you can see, there's you know there's plenty of things to to buy to spend that uh, those in-game stars on. And uh, you know I I I would like I recommend the game. Give it a try, free to play. Uh, it's a perfectly reasonable game. And it's fun, funny, and childish. So if you're a fun, funny, and childish person, you'll 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 dig it. You'll love it. But, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like this video, please, and maybe subscribe. And you guys take care now.